Welcome to a special edition of the Hub on Hollywood. We had to come back and and talk about uh, the Oscars. You know, we weren't expecting much, you know, to happen. No, uh, no, no, not at all, James. I, you know, I was expecting it to be a, a snoozer. People have been saying, you know, the Oscars are boring, the Oscars are tired, you know. Not this I year. I was some excitement last night. Yeah, so everybody's talking about it, and I mean, if you haven't, then you you're literally living under a Chris Rock because oh. uh, Chris Rock uh, was oh. smacked across the face live <laughs> on television in front of millions of people by none other none other than Will Smith. Will Smith. How does this happen? I don't know yeah. how this happens, James. So, all right. So, as you might know by now. Chris Rock is the host. He was making a joke about uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. You're a celebrity, James. People make jokes about you all the time. That's what you do at the Oscars. The host sits, stands up there and he makes, you know, he makes fun of the guests that are that are right. in attendance, all of the celebrities. Now, Jada Pinkett Smith has been very vocal about her alopecia. She shaved her head because she has that condition and she's been losing it. But she's been very positive about it. She's owned it. You know, she's made fun of herself. So it didn't seem like it was much of a dig. It didn't seem yeah. like it was much of anything. So Chris Rock makes this joke. And at first you see in the video, you see Will Smith laughing and kind of nodding his head. But Jada is rolling her eyes. She's like, Ugh, like cringing a little bit. And I think that is the reaction that spurred Will to jump up on stage and slap Chris Rock across the face live on television. Who does that? Who does yeah, that? It, it was insane because there, was, there are a million ways uh, Will Smith could have handled that situation and still come out the, the bigger man. Uh, but what he, what he does, he, I think he gets caught up in the moment. And, and as you mentioned, he, the, the initial reaction to Chris Rock's, you know, you, know, you could say poor, poorly, you know, taste, uh, tasteless joke. Um, joke. You know, you, you, you can call it that. But there are so many other ways to react to it. And him going up there and yeah. smacking him was not... Uh, the way to do it. Uh, he could no. have, you know, during his acceptance speech, instead of just apologizing to the Academy, he should have apologized to Chris Rock and and used that uh, podium as a platform to talk about uh, alopecia and talk about uh, how much of a big deal and a sensitive issue it is for for people. And then that would, you know, make Chris Rock into uh, yeah. paint him into a, a large villain or or whatever have you, or a bad comic or a bad joke. But that's not what right. happened. He he used his time uh, at, as at his acceptance speech to go on and on about how love makes you do crazy things and how no. he protects his family and everything. Like, dude, this isn't like somebody's talking to your wife at a bar uh, and bringing up a, a sensitive medical condition. This is at an award show. You are a public figure, and you have to be aware that you are a you're, you're one. You're in the front row of the of the entire program. And then two, it doesn't matter where you are. You are a celebrity. You are in the public eye, and you and your your, your spouse, who is also a public uh, a celebrity figure, there you, you're you know you're up for you're up for it. You have to be open to the criticism and the applause at the same time. And the whole the whole thing when he accepted his uh, award for best slapter. <laughs> um, that is a yeah, great apologize. drawing, by the way. That is beautiful. Um, Very well done. You my best art skills possible uh, for that right there. Um, so uh, yeah, there was, like you said, not enough of an apology. He did not apologize to Chris Rock. And the whole idea of, oh, I was defending my family, that is toxic. That is toxic. That is not right. Yeah. He was not defending his family. That was, no one was attacking his wife physically. You do not put hands on other people, okay? Especially, Especially a comedian who's and doing stand-up. Like that doing his job he's doing his job and i felt so badly for chris rock because he had to keep going and james have you seen the unedited version because in the oh, united yeah. states they chopped it out yeah talk a little bit about the the unedited version that aired in other countries yeah so basically uh will smith he goes up he he smacks 
Chris Rock. And then Chris Rock goes, I was just, you know, I was just slapped. And now I'm going to refrain from swearing. But he, he says, yeah, Will Smith just smacked the, the S out of me. And then um, Will Smith responds, uh, you know, keep, your, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. He says that twice. Live on TV again. He knows exactly where he is. He knows the the setup. You know, this comedian is cracking jokes to everybody, and your and your wife is there. And you know, people could say, "Oh, he's making fun of the her alopecia." Yes, and you know, she was also wearing this very like this army green dress that looked like a parachute. And so you could, you know, there are different angles you could look at it. Like, yeah, she looked like a, a para a paratrooper about to jump out of an airplane with that with that green dress of hers. And yeah, the short hair is very reminiscent, of course, with GI Jane, uh, which is a very old reference to make. You know, anyway, it wasn't a great joke. And so to get all crazy over such a you know minuscule joke, uh, it, it looks Will Smith looked terrible after that. Yeah, no, I mean, and G.I. Jane, that's a badass character. You want to be G.I. Jane, don't you? Um, but I, I don't know. He did He did look awful after, but the, the fact that he was barking from his seat and he was just totally unhinged, and it just, it was really bad optics, too, and I wanted to make this point, James, because... Also a crime, technically. It's it's a It was technically, literally, a, an assault, yeah. violent crime, live on television, but it was a black performer doing violence on another black performer on live television it was terrible optics and you know that that gives fuel for the, the the racists and the bigots and you know all of the people out there it sets your people back you know what i mean yeah just like when when um the jesse smollett you know framed himself or you know set up that whole yeah, thing set up yeah and to be the victim of a hate crime like it sets your people back it sets and it's just it's an awful thing to see especially from the fresh prince of bel-air you know he's supposed to be a uh um, a role model. Uh, yeah, good guy. I, I and I, I wanted to get your thoughts on this real quick. I think Jada is just as complicit in this. This is my hot take. I think Jada is just as complicit in this. I, I feel like their relationship is so toxic, and that she didn't stop him. She didn't stop him when he went up there. She didn't stop him when he was barking at. Chris Rock. And they had a great time afterwards, too. They were celebrating, taking pictures, laughing, smiling with everybody, doing this photo shoot. And there's no ounce of remorse. And again, they could believe that they were in the right. Uh, but I think, you know, if you look at it, you know, you know, standing out and, you know, taking away personality and, you know, and, you know, famous celebrity stature away. Um, one person was in was in the wrong. Yeah, if you go to a stand-up comedian show and this person is doing crowd work and he and he makes fun of everybody and and the, and you're laughing at every joke, but yeah. he makes one joke at you or at your partner that you're with, and then that's when he crosses the line. Everything else was funny. Everybody else was was it was fair game. But when you make fun of me, uh, then then the gloves are off. That's not cool. That's not fair. The crazy sense of entitlement, don't you think? Like, mm -hmm. that's just, I, what, I don't even know what the word is. Like, uh, my husband said it earlier, and I can't remember. He's, um, a little bit of narcissism but, in there, a lot of ego yeah. in there. I think a lot of yeah. that is just mainly ego. That's self-righteousness. That's self-righteousness of it. Yeah, you can make fun of everyone else, but you can't make fun of me and my wife. And I'm going to have this violent reaction on, on live television as a result of it. It was just wrong. It was just, it was just uh, totally wrong. You're right. There is one completely wrong actor in all of this and it was Will Smith. Yeah, um, and but you know at the same time this has divided Hollywood. Uh, there are people who applaud uh, Will Smith saying, you know, you stand up to your, you know, to your, uh, for your woman. You stood up for your family. Uh, you know, this is a this is a terrible medical condition that yeah, that should not be joked about. Um, at the same time, though, again, you have to think about the context. You are at an award show where jokes are made, people are roasted, people are ribbed, people are poked, and and that you have to accept that. That's part. That's part of the game. And you know, as long as it's not like evilly malicious, there's there is a fine line. And I and I think I think Chris Chris Rock was on the line with where you know it was a little poor taste, but you know what? It, it would have passed in a second. Nobody would have brought it up at all. But this puts a bigger spotlight on this, and it blew everything out of proportion. Uh, yeah, the the response was not equal to the to the comment that was made, in my opinion. The way that he could have handled this, I mean, Will Smith could have punched him behind backstage, you know, could have found him later, could have made fun of him during his acceptance speech, could have put out a, a statement and really shamed him, you know what I mean, about making fun of his wife and alopecia. There were so many yeah. better ways that he could have uh, uh, addressed this that were proportional, like you said, but putting hands on someone, doing violence, having, you know, 
committing assault on live television. That's not what the way to handle it. And you saw uh, afterwards, a number of actors came, came up to Will and were trying to calm him down. There was Denzel, there was Tyler Perry, uh, a, num a number of other ones. And um, he did address that, Will did address that in his acceptance speech for best actor. Um, he said that Denzel set, told him that when you're at your highest, that's when the devil comes for you. So it's just, it was just totally out of character and it just seemed and, random for this to have happened and to have actually been legit and not like a staged, you know, confrontation. It was real. Yeah. And, and the fact that he was allowed to stay and everybody's pointing at this is the double standard, you know, those with uh, those celebrities, those with power in Hollywood can literally do anything they want, can literally walk up on a stage, slap the presenter, walk back to his seat and stay there for the rest of the show. And then not only does he win, but he also gets his, his trophy and gets to give a speech. That if that doesn't speak of celebrity uh, entitlement or or rich person entitlement, nothing else does. Um, the fact that he was allowed to stay, uh, yeah. that I think the Academy Awards needs to answer and respond to that and yeah. and and admit that that was a mistake. I can understand, like you know, you don't want to make things even worse by escorting Will Smith out of the building because that's going to blow up blow up into another uh, big uh, incident. And so I understand like the hesitancy or the awkwardness of not knowing what to do in the moment. But mm -hmm. now that that's already done, you know, what's done is done. The Academy mm -hmm. Awards, I believe, they need to address this and and publicly. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, admonish and, and criticize Will Smith for his behavior and say, you know, you know, nobody, not even Will Smith can act and behave this way at an award show and get away with it. No, and what kind of an example does that set for all of the young people watching? Like, you yeah. know, that, that somebody, how you're going to aspire to, to attain that yes. level and just beat the crap out of people. Um, it just, it was really sad that that happened at all. Um, I think there are a number of issues here that need to be addressed, but, and it overshadows, it overshadows that Will won his very first Academy Award, you know, his very first Oscar here. Um, and there were other great winners, including CODA, okay, which is yes. the film filmed here in Massachusetts winning Best Picture um, in highlighting all of the deaf actors um, who were a part of this amazing project. Congratulations to all of them. But it, it overshadowed everything. It, it really, really did. Yeah, my, my final two cents on this is that somebody framed it perfectly, saying if if somebody slapped or punched Ricky Gervais for every, uh, uh, you know, uh, really, you know, roasting joke out there for every award show he's been on, he would be in a coma right now. You cannot mm -hmm. allow that, mm -hmm. to tolerate that, or encourage that kind of thing, because because now what happens to other comedians who are out in the world doing their own sets in their own comedy club, they make a joke at somebody and then somebody says, oh, that was my wife and then punches that comedian. Like, you know where you are at. You are at a show where people get ribbed, made fun of. Now, again, there is a line where like, you know, you had the Michael Richards incident where he's saying the N word and he has his public meltdown. That's a definitive line where you can't cross, where you're, you're losing control of yourself and, and, and of the crowd. While in other circumstances, you know, if you have a good crowd and you're doing jokes in a in a very good manner where you know and you can convey that this is just a joke, then yeah. then no, you should be able to freely say and and poke fun of uh, whatever you want on 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 any topic uh, is is my personal opinion. And so I think this may you know has yeah. have some comedians concerned. It may encourage people, you know, the local uh, Joe or Jane at their own comedy club to, uh, hey, I can't wait for them to pick on me because I'm going to go up there and show them exactly what they what I think of their little yeah. joke. So inappropriate. I, I think my my uh, hot take on this and my final take on this is that that it was complete. His entire rationale was complete toxicity. And that was not legitimate is not a legitimate reason to do that you don't put hands on people because you're defending your family because you love your family so much that's it. i'm sorry that is bs that is not legitimate that is not a good reason that is toxic masculinity that is i think the the result of a toxic relationship um and it's not something to be emulated it's something to be addressed and i think that will smith has a lot more apologizing to do that's my that's my hot take
let us know what you think. What What's your hot take? Are you on, on Chris Rock's side that, you know what, the, the joke may have been in poor taste, but he is a presenter, he is a comedian, he is doing stand-up up there, that's part of the gig, that's part of, uh, you know, the deal. Or are you on uh, Team Will Smith? Uh, do you think that what he did was right? Um, again, uh, I, I, mean, I don't fall in that camp, but there are people, Hollywood is split, saying, you know what, if it was me, I would have done worse. I don't know. I don't know. So mm -hmm. where do you stand? What do you think on this on this position? Comment down below. Uh, but again, thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of The Hub on Hollywood. Uh, again, we weren't going to talk about the Oscars, but, you know, uh, unless something crazy happened, something crazy happened, and here we are. Uh, yeah. So thank you again for joining us. <laughs> we called it, I guess. Yeah. That's why you need to watch us on The Hub on Hollywood, because we can tell the future. Um, so, yeah, until next episode, uh, we'll see you guys next week. All right. Bye. Amy. He's James. See ya.